Hey, I'm Adam Kelly. I'm back with a small update to my deep learning with game engines self-driven course that I made for myself. I posted an update or I sorry uh, an intro video first and now this is my first little update to it. So I've got a new camera lady. It's my lovely wife. She's behind the camera and uh, I'm just doing another outdoor uh, video here. I thought it would be it's a beautiful day here in Austin so I thought that would be a cool thing to do. So I have been working on Unity ML Agents, which is an open source project released by Unity that works, of course, with the Unity 3D game engine. And the project that I'm working on is kind of derived from one of their example projects, but essentially I wanted to make little pigs that could move around in a small open space and try to find truffles using their noses. So rather than using a raycast like a lot of uh, different projects use, which is just a, essentially it shoots out a point from uh, the front of the agent, which is the little character that's moving around and detects if it sees something. This instead is going to use stereo smell. So stereo smell meaning it can smell slightly different from the right nostril and the left nostril, and it uses the strength of each smell to determine which orientation it should turn to find the next um, truffle. So I set that up. Uh, basically, I have it automatically um, the academy, which is what they call the sort of the thing that orchestrates the learning. It sets up a bunch of these little uh, truffle objects in the world around. The uh, pigs are able to rotate and they're able to move forward or backward and I essentially just set it up so that the academy would reward the agent for time or if it picks up these truffles and it would punish it for hitting walls or punish it for just taking too much time. So I found, I thought this would just be really simple. It turned out it's taken a lot of experimentation. Uh, the things that I thought would be very intuitive were not at all intuitive. Uh, if, when I didn't punish the the pigs for hitting walls, what they would do is they would learn to just kind of hockey puck back and forth. And uh, so that wasn't what I wanted, obviously. And then it also, um, if I, I was trying to make it so that it, it punished them a little bit for rotating too much, because they would do this thing where they would actually just kind of like drift around, kind of. So my wife and I just started calling them drift pigs because it looked ridiculous. Um, well, I'm gonna show a video of you of it for you. So they're just kind of drifting around like crazy and spinning around. That seems to be something they do a lot. They also tend to just pick a favorite way to turn and never turn any other direction. So I'm still trying to figure out why they're doing that. Anyway, the plan is to turn this into a tutorial once I figure it out to a point where it seems like it's actually performing pretty well. Share it with you guys and let other people take this up, see if they can do something similar and um, just see where it goes. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.